Hi guys, it's Melody Lane. And if you saw my last video, I was showing this and I didn't finish it. I waited for you guys to tell me what to do in the comments. And I think every single one of you told me to put a frame around it like this. So I did the frame and most of you told me to put the flowers like this in the lower corner and then in the upper corner. So I did that. I also added some bling here. And Esther said to add some glitter. So I did put this on glitter paper. I don't know if you can tell. It is glitter paper. Can you see the glitter paper? And then I also used Winka Stella on the butterfly wings and the flowers, and I don't think you can see them. It was just clear Winka Stella. So here's that project, but that's not what this video is about today. If you missed that video, click the I in the upper right hand corner and you can do that at the end of this video. That link will still be there. All the links in the little I for information will still be there at the end. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this lantern out of Lori Whitlock's teapot. If you missed the teapot video, that will also be in the upper corner. So I made this lantern and I used my digital paper. You can get that at MelodyLaneDesigns.com. So there will be links in the description below to where to get the paper and where to get the SVG file. I changed the SVG file in Cricut Design Space and I'll show you that. I also did print and cut on vellum. I'll show you how I did that. I had to do a little special trick on that one. So I'll show you what I did. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe if you want to see more. All right, let's get started. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane and I'm gonna make a lantern out of Lori Whitlock's teapot. If you saw how we did the teapot, that's where this file came in. So I'm gonna use this old file and recreate a new one. So I'm going to go to file and click save as, and I can't share it because it has uploaded images. So I'm gonna call this a lantern and save it. Now really what I did is I duplicated the exact same project and renamed it this way. Now when I go to save it as I go, I can just click the save. It will not overwrite the Lori Whitlock teapot. Okay, let's get started. First, we don't need these as print and cut. We're just gonna change that back to cut and this back to cut. And I welded these for the teapot. That's okay, I'm gonna duplicate this right now. If I wanted to start over, I could just upload the teapot again. But why do that? Okay, let's do this first before I forget. I wanna duplicate this because I wanna put the lid on the teapot on the bottom of the teapot also. And so we won't need this. And we don't need the handle or the spout cause we're not making a teapot. Let me go back to 100% so I can see this better. Because they're welded together, we can't separate them. I'm going to separate them. We're gonna slice them out. So I'm just going to unlock that pull that down and we're gonna slice this piece. They're all the same as this piece, so we're just going to select them both. I'm gonna hit my command key and click them both. They're both selected. You can see over here, they're both highlighted in blue. So we're gonna click slice. So now we have this and we have another one and we don't need that one. I'm just gonna hide it for now, this mentally. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Because I made it smaller, it doesn't fit exactly. We're gonna slice it again because I really need two sizes. We're gonna slice out pieces and then we'll need this to put an acetate behind it. So we're gonna go ahead and do the first, let's duplicate this three times, two times. Move those out of the way. So select that, hit command, select this and slice. Let's get rid of that. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Okay, select this, select that, click slice. Some people say I make it look so easy, but it really is easy. Okay, now we're gonna put this here, click this, hold down your command key, click this, and click slice. That was really easy. Okay, I'm gonna put these together. I'm just gonna put a box around them and I'm gonna make them a little smaller. Cause this is the hole we're gonna cut out. And then this size up here will be what we put inside the hole to cover it up. You can use vellum or acetate or anything like that. 
and I need enough room on there to glue this on. And I still don't feel that's enough. There, that looks like it should be enough to be able to glue something onto the inside. So let's line these up. I'm gonna select these three and I'm gonna align them center horizontally. Now I'm gonna weld these together because it'll just make it easier to slice them. And we're gonna duplicate. To make sure we get these all even, we're gonna line them up. So I'm going to align those at the top and that looks right. We're gonna weld them together. Now this set is attached. So in order to slice through them, we need to detach it. So we're gonna go over here in the layers panel and click detach. You cannot slice through an attached image. So let's grab this one, you can see it over here, and bring it to the front. And that is the score line, so we're gonna move those to the back, just so we don't have to look at them. We don't wanna move them out of our way. So we're gonna click this one, Hold down the command key and click this one. So now you can see over here in the layers panel, only these two are selected and the slice button is lit up. Let's slice it. Okay. And there. We don't really need this anymore. We have another one here and we can use this one to slice up here because they're exactly the same. So now, just so we don't mess anything else up, we're gonna put a box around both of these so they're all selected can see down here they're selected and we're gonna attach. So we're just attaching the score lines back the way they were. And they're attached now. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do everything I just did again. But instead, just duplicate the first one and you don't have to do two because they're the same image. Just in case I wanna slice anything else out, I'm going to just hide them. And then these are the pieces that we can cut out of acetate or we can print on transparency. Let's change these to print patterns. Filter to my uploaded. And I want this one. Filter we want edit. Hmm. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, you see the line here? I don't want to see the line. So let's click that again, edit. That's just the edge of the paper. I'm trying to get that between. There, 115 works. And I think I'm gonna move this up a little. There we go. I think I'm gonna do it just like that. Let's just duplicate that. So we have the exact same thing on the other sides and we no longer need this one then. Let's save our lantern. Okay, let's go try this. I'm gonna try to print that on transparency. So I'm gonna click print page. And I always print using the print system dialog. And I'm gonna to go to print settings. Let's just do photo paper glossy. Best quality. And let's not do borderless. Okay, and always make sure your scale's 100% when doing print and cut on the Cricut. And we're gonna print. Okay, and then I'll get the rest of these cut out and I'll show you how I put them together. Okay, I did the print and cut on vellum, but vellum would not go through the printer. Although I think I've done that before, but I just could not get it to work through the printer. So what I decided to do before I put it in the printer, I attached it to a piece of cardstock. And I adhered it on the bottom here and on the top here. So in the middle, it's not. And so now I was thinking I'm gonna put this on the mat and cut it. Something's not gonna work because once this cuts, 
it's not stuck down to the mat because the paper is stuck. This is not stuck to the paper. It's only stuck up here. So once this piece cuts, it could totally get ruined. It could mess up the entire cut. I don't want to mess it up. What I'm going to do is we have to keep these intact. It might have a hard time reading this if this is just reading through vellum. So I thought, well, we need to keep this stuck down and this stuck down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the paper underneath here. This paper underneath here is there's nothing on it. So it's just white cardstock. So I'm going to cut this above the cut. And so it will still be able to read the marks. Turn it over to the other side. I could have just cut this off here. It doesn't need to be this size. So then this way I can put this down. The only problem is it's not stuck right here. So I'm going to cut this here because it is stuck here. So just be careful how you're cutting it. And I'm gonna turn this over. So I'm not cutting the vellum at all. I'm cutting underneath the vellum. I'm only cutting the cardstock. There we go. So then I'm gonna lay this on my mat, throw this into my scraps and put this on the mat so it will stick to this. And I'm gonna put my setting on vellum. So I'm gonna put this on the mat just like I would anything else. So now when this cuts, it will stick to the mat and there won't be a problem. It should still read these marks. I got all my pieces cut out and here is the vellum that I printed on. I'm gonna move these over to the side. I still have to cut a little more because when I put this together like that, this sticks out because this, not, this was not originally made to be cut out. See, you can see through that, and I don't wanna see that through. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each one, and I'm gonna cut off, not the entire thing, because we still need to adhere to this, but I'm gonna cut off any more that sticks out from here. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, and let's test that out. There. Now when we close that, these get folded up here. And when we close this, you won't see it. See what I'm doing? I'm going to glue that like that. Now let me show you over here in this camera where it's closer up. So when I fold this over like I'm supposed to, this is sticking out. And we don't want that, so we're going to only have this piece that folds over as wide as this. Now, if you want to be exact and you like to measure, then I'll show you how to do that. See, it doesn't have to be perfect. At least it doesn't in my book. But if you wanted it to be perfect, you could take a piece from here, from this side, and use a pencil, line that edge up. So I'm lining this edge up with this edge, and then using a pencil, and then I know where to cut it off at. I'm just making sure there's enough on there to glue. But just so you understand, you can take the edge here, line it up with the score line here, use a pencil, and then just trace it along there and you'll know where to cut it off. It's really easy. Okay, now before we put this piece together, we have to put in the vellum. And I think these are the same, the top and bottom, but you wanna make sure Maybe I'll put these together so I know I'm doing it correctly. We are going to have to cut that off too. So you want to cut these edges off. Just to make sure I'm getting this straight, I'm going to set this here 
and put a pencil mark so I know where to cut it. Actually, I could put a pencil mark here. So to give it a little extra strength, So I can glue that onto there. And let's do the same with this piece. Now what's really important is getting these straight. So they're even from here to here. I'm using art glitter glue I get from May May Made It. So now I can turn this over and we can start attaching these. We'll start with the bottom ones. I'm also going to use the art glitter glue for this. I'm going to finish all these and then we'll come back. Okay, I got them all put on here. So now let's flip it over and see what it looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't it pretty? It's pretty. Love it. We're going to put a light inside it. But first, we have to finish putting it together. What we're going to do is, I'm sure those are all scored, fold it down. We're going to apply glue here and here and then put this on it like that. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom one at the same time. So we're going to just continue this down. I've showed the same thing in my teapot video. If you haven't seen that video, click the little eye up in the right hand corner. I'm just gonna continue to put glue on these pieces here. Remember this gets folded up. Okay, now we're to the end. I'm gonna smash this down a little bit. So it's not like over, it's like too close like that. So we're gonna smash it down just a little. So it will help spread it out a little more. And then we're going to glue this here I'm put my fingers inside so that will stay together until it dries 
now we have the last pieces here and then at the bottom so we'll get that done add a little more glue this glitter paper is hard to stick so we need lots of glue okay got it all glued now let's get to the top and bottom so I'm gonna glue all of these pieces here to the next piece Okay, now we're getting to the end and I'm gonna put it on this piece and this one. I'm gonna put a little extra here. So I'm gonna slide that in there and that there. I'm going to line this bottom piece up here, hold that for a minute, and then slide that over there, bend it down a little, oh, get that straight, then maneuver that down a little. Okay, we got the lid on, and it's not perfect, so I'm going to play with it for a little bit. And I'm going to get a brad or a gem to put up here on top. And then I'm going to do the bottom and we're going to put the light inside. Okay, and here's the little flameless tea light candles I got. I got these from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be honest. I got them from the Dollar Tree about two to three years ago. Maybe four? I'm not sure. I had plans on doing something like this a long time ago and it never happened. So, let's try these out. At least the battery's not, we had that little thing there. Did it work? Uh-oh. It does work, but it's an ugly orange one. I don't like that orange one. I like a brighter light. But it does, when I put it in here, let me see if I can turn these lights off. Can you see that? It does look like a real candle in there. And you could just set this on a table. But my plan was to stick it on the bottom here Like that, and then put this here, and then hang this. So that was my plan, is to hang this from here. And I could glue either the top or the bottom on, don't want to do both. Because you have to get the candle out. And maybe we could punch a hole on each side here and through the lid so we could put fishing line or something invisible thread through both pieces to hang it. And it looks like we will have to glue this bottom part or attach it with Velcro or repositionable tape maybe. Or you can just make the bottom of the teapot, like the regular teapot, which is just a flat surface, like that. And then have the light in here. And set it on a table. So if you have any ideas of how to hang this or how you would do it, please let me know in the comments below.
You could also do it without the lids at all and just set it on the table and have the light coming through the top. So what do you think? What would you do? I'm actually surprised these candles still light up. Here's a picture of the lantern on top of my LED light from my phone. It's much brighter. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Lena, Antonio, Donna, Jeannie, Donna, Cindy, Carol, Vivian, Teresa, Tammy, Jackie, Kathy, Kim, Tiffany, Adrian, Dorothy, Fran, and Janet. Thank you guys so much. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time.